Hey there, my name is Thomas, aka Clark Rhodes, and welcome to this Let's Play of a community-made mod for Portal 2 called Portal Stories Mel. Now, I had already started a Let's Play of this mod on an old channel of mine. I got up to Test 2, and then I stopped recording. So from the intro to Test 1, I'm going to know what I'm doing, and then from Test 2 onward, this is going to be a blind let's play, or a blind run, or however you like to call it. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Chapter 1 something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military, but I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, where are we again? Uh -huh. Okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Alright. I like the voice actor they chose for the, uh real Cave Johnson, and you'll know what I mean by that later on. Because later on, I have something that I need to not necessarily rant about, but uh, express my right. displeasure with, I guess. <laughs> I love this part. Wait. Chris, get over here. Station. Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna take the cap, or the lid rather, off of the bottle of water on my desk here so that it's not quite as loud when I take a drink. Okay. There's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. All right, so as we make our way to wherever we're going, I thought I'd take this time to say, or to point out the fact that this is my first video. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete, on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> that's thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. Okay, anyway. This is my first video on my new channel, and uh, 
perhaps you haven't heard of me. Um, I'm Clark Rhodes. Obviously, I already said that. I used to have a channel that had over 200 subscribers on it, but I decided to start over because the channel wasn't really going anywhere. Just give me a second. I want this to be my thumbnail. The channel wasn't really going anywhere. It was dying. Um, I wasn't getting hardly any views on my latest videos. But I thought, alright, well, I could try to revive this channel, but to be honest, I think I'd much rather just start I told over. You it was easy to find. You found it faster than... Uh, any test subjects on record? <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Okay. Let's take the elevator again. This way. Ah, here we go. Did he say door on the right? If he did, I feel so stupid. <laughs> so. At first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. If you insist, I enjoyed walking. I enjoyed the walking while it lasted. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test could happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss me. Anyway, the bean counters cry like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they went their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> First of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. In other words, we're gonna go to sleep. For a long, long time. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at the most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. I love the dialogue for Cave Johnson here in this intro. It's 
I feel like it's a little bit more comical than in the uh, than in uh, Portal 2, the original game. Or humorous. I don't know what the correct term would be. I guess you could use those intercha interchangeably. I don't know. I just hear the word. I just. I just hear the word comical used in a uh, in a negative context. So that's why I changed it up to humorous. But. So. As I, I said know. on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> and six signs, boys, disappear, isn't it? That's reassuring. Last time I checked every door except this one. <laughs> Not making the same mistake this time. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. Now. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. It is time to sleep. 